right, good morning everybody and welcome to our Friday update. We're glad you've joined us today. And uh, this is the second Friday of our new ministry year. Uh, we're glad that uh, you were able to make it last Sunday as we had our uh, ministry year kickoff and our lunch after the service. And uh, it was a good start uh, to a new ministry year. And uh, we had our first uh, growth group meetings this week. It's just been a good week all around. Uh, last night we had our first night of Awana and youth ministry. And both of those ministries, all three of those ministries, if you count junior high, senior high, and then Awana ministry, had a great first night. And uh, thank you for bringing your youth and children out uh, so they can be discipled in these ministries that uh, exist for that purpose. We appreciate that. And so uh, regarding Awana, let me mention that uh, uh, we really appreciate you bringing your children out. Uh, we still have a few holes we have to fill from a volunteer perspective. Uh, if you would consider uh, being a part of our Awana ministry, uh, even if it's just uh, maybe not every Wednesday, but every other Wednesday or whatever might work for your schedule, please let Heather Gibson know. Just call the church office here and uh, we'd love to get you connected. It's a great ministry to be a part of and uh, I know that they would appreciate uh, getting a little extra hands here on Wednesday nights. Uh, we had 65 uh, children here last night and uh, it was just a really good first night. So again, thank you so much. And our wanna minister, or, excuse me, our youth ministry got off to a really good good start last night. Over 50 teenagers were here and uh, we thank God for that. And so uh, keep bringing your children, keep bringing your youth here on Wednesday nights and we've gotten off to a great start. This Sunday, uh, we're going to continue. We kind of kicked off last Sunday this emphasis we're calling across the street and around the world. And uh, we ha I had the introductory message last Sunday. We're going to have part one this Sunday. And so I hope you'll be here as we continue this emphasis and we're using a companion book called Turning Everyday Conversations into Gospel Conversations. And so if you didn't get this yet, it's combined uh, with a study guide and a conversation guide. We combine these together. And if you didn't get one of these, just stop at this table on Sunday and uh, we'll give you one. Make sure you get one. And uh, we're going to be actually beginning to work through that book as a companion study uh, to our Sunday morning emphasis uh, next week. And so we want you to get that. We want you to be involved uh, and engaged Engaged as we study this this week, this fall because it's really going to be impactful not just to our own Christian walk with Christ but uh, to our church and our community as well as we talk about sharing the gospel uh, with uh, everyone in our area and that's what we're trying to do. So uh, our theme verse for last Sunday as well as our emphasis and as well as our whole ministry year uh, we've chosen one verse uh, a well-known verse so you might already have it down under your belt as memorized but it's Acts 1 8 and it says this but you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth and of course that's what God wants us to do he wants us to be his witnesses and as we talked about last Sunday from that verse we kind of tore that verse up a little bit to, to get a deeper understanding of it and uh, it basically is when you see something when you experience something and then you tell others about it that's what a witness is and that's what a witness does. And so well, we're praying that God will uh, continue to show us how we can be the best witnesses we can be for Jesus Christ here in central Iowa, across the street and across our community and our area. Well, with that, let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, as we kick off the weekend today, I pray for our fellowship family. Lord, I pray as we are all in situations where we're with other people, that you would begin to help us to be sensitive to the conversations that you put us in. And Father, let us be ready to uh, interject uh, gospel language and the gospel itself in these conversations. Father, use our church, use us all as a church body, Father, to make it hard for anyone in this area not to hear the gospel and thus end up in hell. And Father, use us, we pray. We know we're your witnesses. You've commanded that. And we know we need to start right here where we live, right here in the Norway walk area in the central Iowa area and so uh, we God we give these things to you thank you for the blessings of the great start to our ministry year father and as we continue this Sunday bring us back together father as we worship you and uh, as we give attention to the preaching of the word of God and we'll ask you to keep teaching us what you want us to know and to obey and I pray these things in Jesus name amen well thanks for joining us today I know it's homecoming weekend for many of you so it's going to be a busy weekend we hope you have a great weekend 
weekend and that you'll be able to join us this Sunday. We'll be back to two services, 8.30 and 10.30 on Sunday. God bless you, and we'll see you Sunday.